I have a tablet that makes movies in 3D, so I'm going to use it to make the next Tintin, I'm sure. So. Who else here has one of those 3D tablets from LG, just out of curiosity? Yeah, a few of you. Did you, did you get it from me here in Berlin? Maybe. Okay. So. Uh, in Paris? Okay. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Um, yeah, so it, inter it inter integrates with your social streams, and uh, it's not just Google+. Plus. There's an API for this. You can add other social streams, uh, Twitter, or Facebook, whatever. Um, but this is what we've got configured. Also, uh, because, of course, this is all about me, your phone knows who you are. Uh, apparently, I'm Rich Hyman. Well, I used to be Sparky, but I paid nine euros for the upgrade. So, yeah. Hi, Rich. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying the keynote. Um, so, yeah, this is a you know, demo foo, right? Rich is the best demo guy we've got, so I had to be him today. So I hope he doesn't mind me borrowing his identity. Uh, and another thing that, that you can do now is say I want to call my good friend Sparky. Oh, I don't know Sparky's phone number. Oh, but, but maybe my friend knows Sparky's phone number. Ah, so we do. So. Let's see, we just put our phones back to back. And we link him up. Say, join. And look, now we have Sparky's phone number. Just like that. So that's that's a bit of the that's a bit of the simple and beautiful. Now I wanted to um, maybe show you a little bit more of the Beyond Smart. So I wanted to show you some other things that you can do with NFC Beam. Like for example, say you're oh oh that's another one of my favorite features of Android of, of Ice Cream Sandwich, the recent applications. So suppose. Um, Suppose I have a friend who's staying at a hotel near you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is, do you all recognize this hotel? This is where I'm staying. This is the Seehof. It's on this beautiful See. So, so yeah. yeah, this was, I thought this demo was good on a tablet, but it's great on a phone. And I said, but where's the air, I don't want, I want to know where the airport is. So, again, we just kind of, choo. Oh, so that's where the airport is. So you just uh, you select your location. You can go in as much as you want. I might. I'm having a little trouble with the Wi-Fi here, so I might actually not get any data. But let's see. So just back to back, tap, and they sync. Except that this one doesn't have a data connection right now. So hmm. Got another phone with a data connection. Maybe this one is working a little better. Hello, do you see me? Yeah, we'll try this one later on. Um, I, okay, the other thing is, suppose that you're, uh, you're sitting together with your buddy, and he leans over, and he happens to see you playing a really fun game on your phone. Hello? Nope. Wrong. Wrong place. You didn't see that. So, oh, this one. Go back. Live demo, live demo. Scripted, yes. Rehearsed, sort of. <laughs> uh, right, so a shout out to my friends here. Okay, so, <laughs> right. So the idea is say you're playing this really fun game, you're tossing some sheep around. So, and this wasn't supposed to happen. But at any rate, so if your application knows about the API for NFC Beam, then you can, uh, you can control what happens and you can define the behavior. But even if you don't do anything, if you just have it on your device, if somebody sees, if you, if somebody sees an application on your phone that they like, all you have to do is go back to back, tap the screen, and it'll take you to the Android Market page for that application. That is the default behavior of NFC Beam. <laughs> I have to toss some sheepies and get some stars. Hello, sheepies. 
I, I wanted to show this off because this is, this is a, one of my favorite games by a very good German software developer, just like you. So, uh, and the last thing, so let's see how brave I am because my Wi-Fi has a little, been a little bit dodgy in here, but I'm going, to, I'm going to tempt the wrath of the demo gods and I'm going to try to do something that involves real-time live network data transfer. So one of the things that we um, introduced in Ice Cream Sandwich is improved uh, speech recognition on the phone. We now have a conversational real-time mode where you can basically just talk at your phone. Um, and so I say I want to send an email to some friends of mine. I, all you have in any text field, you just open up the microphone and then you start talking. So let's see if this works. Let's try it auf Deutsch. Hallo zusammen, das freut mich sehr mit Ihnen zu sprechen heute über das Thema Android. Oh, the demo gods are not happy. I think my data connection is too slow. I'm using a prepaid SIM in this. So, let's see. Who else has network? Just click the done button. Let's see. You are connected. Let's try it on this one. Okay. So, let's try it on here. I can select my language. Hallo zusammen. Das freut mich sehr, mit Ihnen zu sprechen über das Thema Android. Hmm. Got part way there, didn't we? Oh. Oh, but wait. Let's try it in French. Ce soir, à la fois, nous sauterons. Hmm, nous suggérons. Je vous suggère un... Yeah, okay. Let's try it in American English. Would you like fries with that? <laughs> okay. Back to German. Ich bin ein Berliner. There we go. And since you've all been such a wonderful, fantastic audience, I would like to take home a picture of all of you. So, I'm going to just make myself a little panorama. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you in the back, smile please. Okay, just like that. We have to wait a little bit. Now it's processing my panorama, you can see a preview there. And uh, as soon as I remember to, a little bit later in the day, I will post this on Google Plus. So, so, and there it is in my gallery. So there we are, uh, ice cream sandwich, a few of my favorite things. So, I'll see you later.